Who were the Leesburg Stockade Girls? In July of 1963, in the midst of the Civil Rights Movement, 15 girls, ages 12 to 15, peacefully protested for justice and equality in America's Georgia. During their peaceful protest, these 15 girls were arrested by law enforcement in Americas and taken to Leesburg, Georgia, where they were imprisoned without their parents' knowledge. These young ladies became known as the Leesburg Stockade Girls. They were just kids, like a 12-year-old and a 15-year-old. Like they, like they knew what, what would be going on, but they wouldn't know like the consequences would be that bad. Like no kid should ever be apart from their family. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. On I Thursday, have January 16th, as Marines at MCLB Albany gathered to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., one of the surviving Leesburg Stockade girls, Dr. Shirley Green Reese, will serve as the event's keynote speaker. Dr. Reese's story of her two and a half month incarceration in the Leesburg Stockade paints a little known picture of the monumental role children played during the Dr. King led civil rights movement that stretched across this nation. It's good to know, especially, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people don't really know that well about African American history has a dramatic impact, especially in America. We have Marines, we have sailors, soldiers, we have everyone going to fight that front line right now uh, for their country. They are the history of right now. Um, and that's what she was back then. The commanding officer of Marine Corps Logistics Base Albany, Colonel Alfonso Trimble, invites all civilian and military personnel and invited guests to hear Dr. Reese's courageous account. It's history. I think everyone should come out, not just Marines, but everybody. If it wasn't for her, you know, and other girls, who knows who would have fought the battle, or if the battle would have even gotten fought. The program begins at 10 a.m. in Base Chapel, and seats will fill quickly. Join us for this historic program.